So here we have an, another one great application we have spent lots of time developing and preparing to show up to you. As Andre have already said, we have developed a great bunch of different opportunities for it. So now we are ready to show them all. Let's open it up and here we hear Soul and Inksat calendar. The default theme can be changed easily. So the default one is an orange, but I can easily customize it just as I like. For example, I like the dark ones, so why not to make this like this one? Uh, first of all, it is the best thing to see the welcome tour and how to use an application on what should you do with it. There are lots of different cool things, handwriting and drawing, and you can use the stylus to plan your time and add, add written notes. So, to go to an app and to start everything up, we have the calendar uh, layout, so you could select any date you wish. For example, it can be the 4th of February, the 23rd of February, the 8th of March, or I can switch up to any other month and open like this and to check if I have any events here. What is more, I can plan even for the other years. Let it be 2040. Why not? And for example, I can play some th plan Thompson for the day 20 years from now. Why not to do this? So when I'm pressing here, I will have a 23rd February of 2040. But let's not be moving so far and let's try to check out and to add some dates, for example, for today. Let me change the density for a lower one and to add some sort of reminder for me. For example, don't forget to brush my teeth. That's a pretty important note, so you should not forget about it. And I'm gonna select it. And now I can add a notification on what should I do with it and what that I don't want to forget about it. There is a pretty great feature that I have. Actually, I can convert it to text. So if I press here, some sort of a magic is going to happen. You see, it has turned into the brush text, teeth text. And now I can even change the cheese word into an emoji or to add something even more cool. Cool, isn't it? Okay, and let's add it like this. So I want to add the notification for about 7.7 .7, and that's actually all I want to do. Again, let's add some more uh, notifications, for example, for the 12 a.m. Let it be a uh, dinner, dinner, okay, and I'm gonna press here and press here and let it be like 2007, I'm gonna convert it to text again, let's check how it deals with the converting to text function, let's take a try, and here we have a dinner text. What is more, I can export my functions into the Google Calendar. For now, I do not really need this, but this function is available anytime you wish. We are pressing OK. I'm sure I want to add the notification. Let's press yes here. And here we have a notification added and the time has changed into the dark one. So if I'm moving, for example, for a week, I have several notifications and the dinner has come up right here. And even I have a special note, noted like a dark one, for this month. Uh, when I see some points over my calendar, I see that I have added some more functionality and that I see that I need to not forget about some different events. For example, on the 2nd of March I have nothing written, but on the 8th I can add a notification and I have a handwriting notification. On the 20th one, maybe I was drunk when I was writing it, I'm not sure, but something is written here too. And now I can add some more messages, let it be maybe Inksot Big Event, the one uh, thing I was preparing for a pretty long time. So let it be like this and I'm gonna write it here and this will be all day event. I'm pressing OK, and now I will get a great reminder on the Inkstone Big Event happening pretty soon. What is the best thing on this is that to each day I have a specially connected to-do list. There is a great amount of things our writers have added here, and our developers have made some wishes for us to do, but I can easily erase them with a special tool. 
it does pretty fastly. I'm sorry guys, I have do erased all the ingredients and all the chairs you have write me before the presentation, but I have nothing to do with it, unfortunately. So, and here I can write down, for example, a special list of the things I have to do, like uh, the first one, and the second one, and the third one, and for example, let it be a provide a presentation, and then let it be to cheer for this. Yeah, every presentation has to be cheered. Uh, actually, I can also add some maybe figures. Why not to do this? Yeah, and uh, let it be the Malevich's dark square. Why not? This is a pretty important thing to do. I can screw it in so other things. And also, if you don't want to use a handwritten note, you can just add a text function here and write some text like uh, the first one to go to the cinema, I suppose. Go to the cinema. What is the coolest thing is that you could just forget about any PDF planners you was using before. Because for now, it all is completed into one great application. You have a to-do list, you have a fully functional calendar you could use with any day, with any time and with any year. Please, here we have uh, some sort of a more old functionality. Here we have some more plans I have written for today. For yesterday there was nothing. I can scroll it and add some more easy fields. And this one field is also absolutely editable. editable. So I can write some text here and let it be the great and the powerful Inksot man. And uh, here, for example, I can write some course or something else I have to do, like a yoga class or a gym or something I don't want to forget about. Let me select it with a red one, like this. So now I won't forget about the fact that I have to go for a gym, for example. And also I can write with uh, my standard pen, for example, here, anything I want to write or I want to add. So again, you can write anything you want, you can add anything you want, and this application will be fully having a lot of different new features. But even for now, this is just a great solution for any student, for any businessman, for any person doing its own job and trying to stay productive without using any additional PDF documents. You can just download a one app and you can just use all the inks of magic inside the one great calendar application. So do not forget to go to the Apple Store after the presentation or open up the Google Play Store, download it and leave us your feedback. The thing is pretty important for us. If you want to leave some feedback, there is a pretty simple thing called contact us where you can enter the email to send up the thing you want to say. And what is more, there are lots of cool things you can customize. For example, the week beginning, the time mode, the language. We have uh, now supported four languages, but more to come. And there are lots of another cool features we will be happy to provide to you in future. So do not forget to stay in touch. And I'm giving the work back to the guys who are providing the presentation. Thank you.